playing the blues and driving my shoes when I moved to New York. Well, I heard there was all kind of music there, and I thought it was every sort. But the sound that I was gonna make, it would not prove on me. So I walked around Manhattan town, just stared at my feet. I found some boys who couldn't make the noise, and I thought it might have made us rich. They said, dang on, play this stuff because the two styles didn't mix. But in a lonely crowd, I went back downtown, got home up to the bone. And on the way, I saw behind every tree was someone with a saxophone. And I found a line, I found a line, got to get out of New York. No one was surprised Got to get out of New York Woo! Two sides to everything, and a big apple ain't no dip. They got me by bomb, he's against the forces of swing, and it all seemed kind of stiff. Seemed like anyone on that the guitar, most anyone you meet. But they only wanted to play night in Tunisia or Green Dolphin Street. So I worked in slugs just to make a buck, Lower East Side Jazz Hall of Fame. And I heard the grace, but I was amazed that the songs remained the same. So I kicked New York like an old bad habit and I moved out to L.A. So here's a shot from us to you and it's a what we gonna play. And I fell in line, I fell in line, got to get out of New York. And I fell in line, ain't no one but surprise, got to get out. Jeff Altman and Still to Come are flicking the night and more music from Tom Scott and Lee Bing. Great acts that uh, you've played with. You know, Tom is known as the sax man in the business, the side man, uh, the first call guy that uh, they're all looking for. Well, one of the guys, <laughs> one of the cats. And uh, how did you two get together? This is a, a bit of... Uh, culture shock to what? see Tom and Lee together. The Third Street Mission. That's where we met. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. You were making the soup and... No, actually, um, John Belushi introduced us uh, a couple years ago. Uh, John was a big fan of uh, Lee's band, Fear. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know what to make of Lee when I first met him, quite frankly. Uh... I had all his hubcaps in my truck, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, which, uh, which side did you approach him on? Did you, did you approach Lee on the side that shows the tattoo of the knife through the skull? Uh, or did you... What, what have you got on the other side there, Lee? I think that's... Yes. Depending on where you meet Lee makes a difference. That says Harley Davidson. Can you close up on that? Uh -huh. Sure you can. So there's a transportation motif on one yeah. side here <laughs> and, uh, and, and a killer motif yes. on the other. And the truth is somewhere in the middle. What, uh, so you guys were introduced to each other. Yeah, we worked on a soundtrack to... Uh, Neighbors to John's film, mm -hmm. which eventually came not to be used, but uh, we hooked up over that and did other projects since then. The uh, uh, film work you're doing now, you've done Stir Crazy, worked right. on that track? Uh, well, Lee and I also collaborated on a song from the uh, movie Going Berserk, 
uh, with John Candy. Mm -hmm. And uh, collaborated meaning you're writing together also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're we're writing songs together. It's a uh, interesting match, you know, him and him and I, a jazz guy and a uh, whatever you are. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> How would you how do you categorize yourself, Lee? Is it uh, do you call it punk, new wave? What? Uh, not new wave. I wouldn't call uh, anything that unless I really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? Uh, Just kidding. Is there a, is there a statement or a position that you take as a as a punker, for instance? What is it that you are saying to people? What is the message? More beer. More beer is simple enough. <laughs> this. <laughs> this now, th this this uh, prop almost looks as though it is making some statement for all of uh, punctum, isn't it? This uh, something you might want to use in the in the act. Uh, parents, grandparents are sometimes intimidated, afraid of what it is they they perceive their children and grandchildren to be listening to in uh, in music today, and what is happening through the lyrics, and in, and the, they will be intimidated by your look, for instance, Lee. How do you respond to that? Should they be? What's the matter? Don't you like Ivy League? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just a, a regular kind of one of the guys. But there's a difference in the look between the, the two of you. What was your own background in school? Were you a, did you finish school? Did you? Yeah, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. Would you have been called a, a, a street tough kid, Lee? Or is that just a look that you have, that those rings on your finger look like they could take out somebody's eyes at 50 paces? That depends on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> and whether you say please or not. What about the uh, Rick Springfield film that uh, you worked on? Well, yeah, I just, I just uh, completed the soundtrack to uh, the new Rick Springfield movie, which will be out uh, next, early next year, called Hard to Hold. And, uh, well, we just completed an album. We're doing a concert uh, actually next Friday night with uh, a real fine band. Richard T will be playing piano, a lot of fine, uh, uh, you know, jazz. Uh, Fusion musicians and leaving and it's, Where is Beverly, that it's the Beverly Theater. Oh yes, you remember? You'll be driving. Yes. <laughs> Lee, yeah, you'll pick up Lee and uh, you'll go somewhere together. You're gonna do some music. <clears throat> pardon me, right after this commercial. It is fun to see you guys together, and it is great fun to hear you together. It's a wonderful. Well, that's about all the time we have for this Friday night. I hope you're going to have a real fun weekend. I want to thank all the folks who are with us tonight. Thank you. Jackie Zeman, whose uh, laundry is all done. Thanks, Doug. Remember, if you play the radio loud enough, the police won't know you don't have a muffler. You be good to each other. We're back Monday and all next week, okay? See you then. Boys are going to be jamming for you these last few minutes. Listen to a couple more commercials and then listen to Lee and Tom Scott. Thank you, folks. See you next time. Think of the night. Starring Alan Thick has been brought to you by New Planters King Size Corn Chips. Now, if you thought you could never say no to those corn chips you've been buying, just wait till you see what America's saying about New Planters King Size Corn Chips. Promotional consideration provided by... Drug-free Sassoon D shampoo and conditioner for dandruff flakes.